City officials in Hartford will mark a grim anniversary. It has been one year since the first person in Hartford died of COVID-19. Now with 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Nuclo is live there this morning. Caitlin, this comes as there is a new warning from health officials. Well, hospitalizations are down in our state. The number of people vaccinated is going up, but health officials are warning that now is still not the time to let your guard down. And that's because we are seeing a spike in cases, mostly among young people, and that has Connecticut back on the national radar. The Northeast is becoming a COVID hotspot again. Several states here, including Connecticut, have the highest number of COVID cases per capita in the last seven days. Our daily positivity rate is at 4.3%. Experts say a number of variants are in Connecticut right now. The UK variant, the New York variant, and the Brazil, South Africa, and California strains are all in the state, and some are more infectious. McGee says she's concerned another spike could be looming. A combination of more transmissible variants plus some relaxing of, of guidelines combined with COVID fatigue have uh, contributed to a real increase. And so that's what health officials want people to be aware of as we head into the uh, summer months and more folks will be wanting to get together. As for that ceremony, it's going to be starting this morning at 10 o'clock here outside City Hall in Hartford. That's where we're live this morning. Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.